Okay. Hi, welcome everybody. My name is Jamie McKenzie and I am one of the leaders here on the Essentially Powerful team. So excited to have such a huge group here tonight learning all about non-toxic skincare and health and wellness. We are going to be covering um, three components this evening. One is going to be the importance of um, nutrition and hydration. We're going to be hearing from a couple of our leaders on the team all about that. Then we are going to be um, talking a little bit about the prep of the skin, the cleansing of the skin. How do we care for the skin on a daily basis, morning and night, so that we have a beautiful canvas to work with, with these beautiful new mineral makeups that Young Living has come up with. Um, and some of you may not know, but Young Living is a 25-year-old company. Um, so we've been around for quite a while. And um, health and beauty um, has always been on the forefront of Mary Young, our CEO, um, on her mind. Um, we have, for those of you that may not know, we have an amazing line of incredible essential oils, which are amazing for skincare. And we're going to be talking about a few of them tonight. We have everything from supplements to protein powder to even things to clean your home, your counters and your floors in a non-toxic way. So this company is all about health, wellness, pulling the toxins out and replacing them with simple and effective solutions. And so health and beauty have always been on the forefront of Mary Young's mind. And just recently, about um, two years ago, one of our top leaders in the company, her name is Melissa Pepping, she created a line of mineral makeup called Sweet Savvy Minerals. And Mary Young was keeping an eye on her, watching her closely, and about a year ago acquired Sweet Savvy Minerals. So this is a makeup brand that has been highly tested. It's been out in the field. It's been out, uh, people have been using it and buying it now for two years and adoring it, but it's been a very small company. So Mary Young was so excited to partner with Melissa Pepping, acquire her company. It's now called Savvy Minerals by Young Living. Um, and now Young Living has mineral makeup, which is really exciting. But we really feel here on Essentially Powerful and in Young Living that um, putting makeup on skin that isn't healthy isn't really going to do you any good. So we're going to take you through all the steps. Um, and without really further ado, um, and if you have any questions, please use the chat feature because we will be helping you out um, this evening addressing those. Um, we are going to first hear from one of our gold leaders. Her name is Kira Proctor, and she is um, – Kira, you can just unmute yourself. Um, she is the mom of um, two, little, two little ones. Um, I actually should say I'm the mom of three little ones. So many of us are just working to, you know, keep our skin – healthy and vibrant and glowing and looking halfway decent in and amongst the chaos of life, right? <laughs> we deserve to look nice. And Kira, I want to see if I can get um, you a bit, a little bit bigger here for our recording. So let me actually, I'm sorry, but give me a second so I can, let's see, speaker view. Hmm. That didn't help because I want to get your face nice and big. Can you talk here and see if that helps? Um, yeah, here I am. Hi, guys. Okay. Did perfect. that go me big to anybody else? <laughs> perfect. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, can I kick off? Are we good? Absolutely. All right. Well, hi, everyone. Um, thank you so much for having me, Jamie. Um, like Jamie said, my name is Kira Proctor. Um, my husband and I are gold leaders in the Essentially Powerful team. Um, and I'm really excited to be sort of kicking this off and talking about, we're going to kind of cover as, as briefly as we can. I'm going to try to keep an eye on time. Um, beauty from within. So many of you may have heard of or possibly even went to beauty school. So Young Living has beauty school events that they do all around the country and they came to Boston, um, I believe it was in April, and I actually had the opportunity to speak at that event and this was my topic, was beauty from within. So we're gonna, I'm gonna give you kind of a little snippet um, of what we talked about um, that day. So, you know, we're talking about makeup, we're talking about, and first, uh, before I go anywhere, I, I just, I just ran a race, like, not even an hour ago, so I apologize. However, my Sweet Savvy Minerals makeup kind of held up pretty well. 
They so look good. It looks good, Kira. Yeah, this is what went on at seven o'clock this morning. So and thank I'm you sorry. so much, Kira. Can I just say for like running your race and literally breezing in the door at eight o'clock here, and you know, in your running clothes and all, um, and no. being here talking about something that I know you're very passionate about. Chris, I know has a degree um, in exercise physiology, and you have a you work as a um, physician's assistant, so you both have a medical background, and I know that nutrition. Um, and hydration is like a huge, huge uh, passion of yours. So we're really excited yeah. when you share. Huge, absolutely. So when, when, like Jamie said, when we're talking about, you know, um, our skin and our health, we have to talk about beauty from within, right? Because if we're filling our bodies with junk, because Lord knows we are getting enough junk from our environment, from the toxins in our, um, you know, in the air, in our water, in the, you know, processed food that, you know, the health food choices that we might be eating. We're getting a lot of toxins that way. So one way to, or a couple ways that we can really try to help kind of detox or just clean our body from the inside out, because if you fill your body with junk, you guys, you can put as much great stuff on your skin, but it's not going to give you the results you're looking for because you're not fueling your body with what you need from the inside. So let's start with sort of the basics, right? Hydration. I know I'm not blowing anybody's mind by telling you that drinking water is healthy for you. But it is one of the ways your body, it helps your body get rid of the junk, get rid of the toxins. It helps, there's lots of different mechanisms in our body that help get the toxins out. And one of those things, one of our organ systems, our kidneys, are one of the sort of filtering mechanisms of our body. Now, if we're not drinking enough water, our kidneys get backed up. And then guess what? The toxins in our body get backed up. And we start maybe falling below the wellness line. So drinking water is super important. Now we work with an amazing company and we have things we can add to our water. I know this isn't a class on oils, but you can't talk about you know, living without talking about oils. And we have a vitality line, right? So for those of you who may be new to, to Young Living, there are a line of oils that all have a white label like this. This happens to be spearmint vitality. And you know if it has a white label, you can add it to water. And all of our oils have their own health benefits. So if you're adding it to your water, not only are you getting the health benefits of just cleansing your body, cleansing your kidneys, flushing those toxins out, you're getting the health benefits of an oil. Now, when you're putting oils in water, you never want to use plastic. So this is a stainless steel um, water bottle. I love spearmint in my water. It's one of my new favorites. Um, or glass. You could certainly use glass, but you never want to use plastic. So ditch those plastic water bottles. Get yourself stainless steel um, or glass is your best bet. So after hydration, the another sort of number one thing, if you have heard of Young Living, if you're part of Young Living, I hope you've heard of this awesome antioxidant juice that we have called Ningxia Red, right? If you're part of Young Living, then you likely have Ningxia Red in your fridge, a bottle like this, or maybe the packets. Some people say, you know, you, know, you hear in, around here that you may um, run on Dunkin's, our family, and I'm sure most of your families who are part of Young Living don't run on Dunkin's, you run on Ningxia Red <laughs> because it's that important. The reason, one of the main reasons, is because of the antioxidant properties that are in this drink. So let's talk about antioxidants just for a second. Our bodies, like I said before, are kind of bombarded by things that aren't so healthy for us from the environment, from foods, even from stress, from um, you know alcohol, sugar, things like that. And they bring in free radicals and free radicals are things in our body that want to disrupt our cells and they aren't specific. They want to disrupt all of our cells. So in the context of this class, let's just point out that even our skin cells. So, you know, everything that people can see, our skin is our biggest organ of our body. Free radicals want to disrupt all of those cells. And if your cells get disrupted, that's when things start to not be so good and we fall below the wellness line. So what antioxidants do is they come in, they sort of link onto the free radicals and they help your body get rid of them. Now, Ningxia Red has a crazy amount of antioxidants in here because of the Ningxia wolf berry. Now, the, a wolf berry, you may have heard it as a goji berry. There's lots of different types of goji berries or wolf berries, but the ones in here are from the Ningxia province of China, which is why it's called Ningxia Red. And Ningxia Red it's really a puree. It's not really a juice. It's 51% Ningxia wolf berries, which is amazing. When you get this bottle, you'll see that it'll kind of settle out. You got to give it a good shake before you drink it to mix all that up because you're getting the berry, not just the juice in the berry, but the, the skin and the rind and the seeds and the whole berry, all of those antioxidant properties. 
Now, there's also blueberry and cherry and aronia and even essential oils in here like tangerine and lemon that again, all of those things have their own antioxidant properties. So this is sort of a godsend. <laughs> this is really gonna keep your entire body healthy. One to two ounces a day is what's recommended. We have a shot glass on our counter every morning. Me, my husband, our two kids, we're three and five. We do a shot every morning. My husband and I might add some Vitality oils in there. But again, that's one ounce, maybe two if we feel like we need a little boost. But one to two ounces a day, that is an amazing way to really help keep your body healthy and beautiful starting from the inside out. So that way, when we're talking about skincare, we're talking about makeup, we've got a great base. We've got a great foundation to then put those other amazing properties on. I think that's all I got for you. <laughs> All right, Kira, thank you so, so much. Um, and you know, you might be you might be saying, well, I'm here to learn about the makeup and we'll get there, promise, promise. But we really feel, you know, we are a wellness company and those of us that are representatives for Young Living, we all drink Ninja Red every day. In fact, my empty bottle, <laughs> my empty bottle is right here. I mean, I just, I just finished mine. And so, especially being out in the sun, I love the sun. I, I love working on my tan in the summertime. It is so important to nourish the skin from the inside out. Um, so, you know, when you see somebody whose makeup is settling into all those cracks and it shows their age, like have you ever seen someone wearing foundation and they have, um, and you can just see, like you can see it, it looks like they're wearing makeup, you're gonna learn as the hour goes on that Savvy Minerals is not going to give you that look because it's so light and the minerals actually sit on top of the face if you prime it right, but backing up a step if you nourish it right from the inside out. So at the end of the class, if you are not already um, a, a Young Living member, which simply means do you have an account to order, just like Amazon, you know, if you don't already have a Young Living account, we're gonna to talk to you about the options. The best option is to order through something called Essential Rewards. It is optional, but you can get your Ninja Red every single month that way. And that way you are feeding your body from the inside out at a discount, wholesale pricing. You never have to run out or worry about it. Um, so we're big advocates of that. And Kira, thank you so much. I guarantee you drank that before your run, right? Yes, well, in a nitro too. <laughs> That's what I, that's what I run on. Um, okay. All right. Fantastic. Thank you so much. All right. We are going to move on. Um, we are going to hear from, and actually Kira, thank you for meeting your line. Next, we're actually going to hear from Laura DiDomenzio, uh, who is one of our silver leaders and she lives in Connecticut. Isn't it cool that like we can talk and hang out from all over the world with one another um, through this awesome thing called the internet? Um, so Laura DiDomenzio is a mom of two. She is so so passionate about beautiful skin, keeping her, um, you know, her skin beautiful, certainly from the nourishment and the nutritional side. Um, but she is just the, um, my go-to when it comes to skincare. Um, so Laura, are you with us? I'm here. Yep. And, um, I actually have three kids and their ages four, okay. three. And eight months. That's right, so, three. Did I say two? You said two. It's okay. I should, in the amount of time we had three, we should really just have two. I knew you had three. I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> All right. Um, so my thing is like, if you don't have a good skincare routine based off you don't have any time, I can't, I can't take that excuse from you. Okay. Um, you, your body is your temple inside and outside. How we present ourselves to the world, of course, we don't ever, you know, don't ever feel like you have to look a certain way for people to love you. But when we present ourselves a certain way, it helps us. It just helps us, I think, in life. So um, skincare, super important. I never knew until a couple years ago, all of the crazy toxins that were in the skincare that I was using, because I had used everything at the drugstore, like literally every brand possible I had used. And I didn't know about the parabens that were in there, which are um, the preservatives that can wreak havoc on your on your your body systems. I didn't know about phthalates, which are neurotoxins, which I mean, neurotoxins, so toxic to your brain. That's really scary to me. Um, I didn't know that when something is listed, when it says fragrance in the ingredient, that that's where companies can hide a lot more toxins because the, the fragrances are synthetic. And all of those things, 
the minute you put something on your skin, within 26 seconds, it's going to seep in and it's going to get into your bloodstream and it's going to get, if we are not careful with what we're using, it can get into your cells and it's going to just start a slow deterioration process of your body systems so that maybe you're not dealing with issues now, although you might be, um, but later on in life when you start having to go to the doctor more and they're telling you you have certain ailments and you're saying, why did this happen? And you don't realize it's because of what we were using on our skin for all these years and didn't know. So I'm just gonna take you guys through um, a quick skincare routine. It's really easy and it's all Young Living, of course, because Young Living is 100% natural, non-toxic. Um, I'm not gonna say chemical free because everything is a chemical, water is a chemical but we're talking non-toxic chemicals, okay? So that is what's the most important. There's a lot of greenwashing out there, a lot of companies that tell you that their products are natural, and they're not. So you need to be careful, okay? So first step always is going to be to cleanse. I cleanse morning and night. If you're only going to give yourself one time a day to cleanse, you need to cleanse at night because after you've been outside, especially if you have been wearing makeup, all of that soot and debris and whatever is in the air is settling into your pores and you need to get it out. So you can use the Art Gentle Cleanser or my favorite, the Orange Blossom Face Wash. This is kind of my go-to. Now, when I'm feeling really fancy, I'll do Orange Blossom at night because this gets everything off of my skin. I don't even need an eye makeup remover. This gets my mascara off as well. And I'll use this in the morning. This one foams, so it's a little bit gentler. You're not going to have to worry about oils being stripped from your face, which is really important because when you are stripping oils, your skin feels like it has to do more work and it's going to create more oils, which is then going to cause your pores to be more clogged and there to be more breakouts. And then you're going to want to cleanse more, which is going to strip more oils and it's a vicious, horrible cycle, okay? So both of these are wonderful. Um, options. The great thing is all of our skincare is infused with essential oils because like Kara said, Young Living, you can't talk Young Living without essential oils. Frankincense is like the number one skincare essential oil ever. Like I even will put it straight on my face and I'll talk to you about that in a second. So after I cleanse, like I said, I cleanse twice a day. Then two to three times a week, I also like to exfoliate. So I use the satin scrub, the satin facial scrub, and it's minty, and it's so lovely. I use this only in the mornings to, um, in the shower, after I cleanse. This is not a cleanser on its own. It's simply an exfoliator. It's very gentle. I didn't know that we are supposed to exfoliate and get rid of those dead skin cells two to three times a week. That's how you keep your skin glowing. Otherwise, those dead skin cells just sit on top of your skin and you can't get, you know, you can't see your true glow. So one of the reasons that I love this as well as the Orange Blossom Face Wash, they both have MSM in them, which is a naturally occurring sulfur. Anytime I can get MSM, um, even in my supplements or whatever, I do. I really credit it to having gorgeous hair, nice nails, great eyelashes, awesome skin. After the cleansing and the um, exfoliating, then you wanna tone your skin because this helps your skin get back its pH level, like just to like level it out, get it kind of you know, center of the scale rather than like acidic or basic. Um, this is where I also add in frankincense. I'll put like an extra drop do, do my whole face, and it just feels super refreshing. And then you need to moisturize. Even if you feel like your skin is oily, I just told you why, your skin probably is oily. Um, and so it might take a little time for you to recalibrate your cleansing routine, but you need to moisturize. And especially if you're gonna be using Savvy Minerals, because if you don't prep your skin well, the minerals are not going to set well, and it's not going to look as good as it can. So you can do super simple, just moisturize. You can use 
the Art Light Moisturizer, which I like in the summertime because I don't like, I don't feel like I need as much moisture this time of year, especially with all the humidity. Or one of my other favorites, the Art Intensive Moisturizer. This is the one I was using mostly in the winter. Now, with the Savvy Minerals, and I think Jamie's gonna go through this, you also need to prep your skin with the serum, the Renewal Serum. So you would do this first, a very tiny bit, right on your fingers, you rub it together and you dab it in. This is how Melissa Pepping teaches it. It's called um, Enflorage. It has to do with like getting it into the pores and waking up your cells so that your blood flow can be moving in your face. So that would be first, then your moisturizer. A very little bit goes a long way. You get it everywhere it needs to go. You could also, if you wanted to, use an eye cream, okay? Something I wish I had started doing when I was 20 instead of when I was 30. And at night, I always make sure to use my night cream, my eye cream at night. And I like to use the Sheer Lume. This is um, a brightening cream. Some people use it as their moisturizer. Some people use this to prep underneath their makeup. I like this at night. It just, I let my skin kind of soak it in all night. And um, it's like better than any brightening cream you're going to buy at any store for probably twice the amount of money and with all the toxic chemicals possible. So that's your, going to be your skincare routine. If you're only going to do three steps, if you only have time for three steps, you want to cleanse, you want to tone, and you want to moisturize or cleanse, tone, moisturize. Okay? Thank you. About that? Thank you, Laura. And look at Laura's beautiful skin, you know, and Laura does videos. If you guys want to follow her on Facebook, she does videos regularly on skincare and beauty. And uh, she just did one the other day on how quick, how quick you can do this. It does not take a lot of time to care for your face. Um, it's, it's really, you know, it's really remarkable. Just but even just doing this for a week, what can happen? So let's ask some questions. Let's take a little break here. I'm going to go back to the view of the whole group here before we talk about the makeup. Look at everybody's beautiful faces. Does anyone have any questions? I saw that there was a question about the sulfa allergy or sulfur allergy. So sulfa is different than the sulfur. So you definitely want to look up Lindsay Elmore's video on that. Um, thank you for that recommendation there in the chat. Does anyone else have any other questions before we move on? I saw Lauren ask if, um, does Weil have a charcoal mask? We do not have a charcoal mask yet. I don't know if they're developing one. Um, but it's really easy. You can make your own because you can buy, you can buy charcoal, right? It's just bentonite charcoal. A lot of people make their own charcoal masks just by adding that bentonite, that, um, you know, that clay, like bentonite, bentonite. activated charcoal. And um, you can just even mix it in with a little bit of the moisturizer and there you go. You, you have your own mask. Yeah. Any other questions? Amy is saying that she had heard that the Sheer Lume helped reverse some damage. Yeah, we saw some pretty amazing pictures at beauty school when they came to Boston. It was remarkable. Okay, show of hands if you're ready to see the makeup. <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, so before I get into the makeup, um, I wanted to introduce Elizabeth Ross, or Liz Ross, as we call her so lovingly. Um, and I'm going to actually change this. Liz, are you there? Can you speak up so your face shows up big? I am. Hi. Okay, all right. There's Liz. Liz, can you, before we get into this makeup, will you tell us a little bit about your background? And um, I mean, actually, I know Liz, you're a school teacher, but you also for years did something on the side. Um, and just give us some of your top tips. Um, and then as I'm applying my makeup, I would love for you to critique me and tell me if I'm doing it right or wrong. <laughs> um, so like you said, I am, a, I am a school teacher, but on the side for over five years, I worked for the Chanel um, cosmetics line, and so I worked uh, in the Rockingham Mall with that counter. Um, I did a lot of trainings. We had trainings twice a year, um, and then an intensive training when I started. And then from there, I went on to freelance um, for Bobby Brown for a couple of years. Um, so I, ha I have had some... Uh, it really, it kind of, I think it sounds like a sales pitch, but it really is all about your skincare. Um, you can put makeup on anything but if you you're not taking care of your skin it's not hydrated you're not using you know good products it, it the makeup's only going to last for so long it's not going to look as nice as the next person 
Okay, so it's pretty simple. <laughs> All right. Awesome. So um, as you, if you guys came on a little late, I'm a mom of three. I'm not a makeup expert. I did not get training with Chanel and Bobby Brown the way Liz did. Mm -hmm. um, but I am going to show you how I put my makeup on in just quick, quick steps um, in under five minutes um, because I'm talking, maybe it'll be a little bit longer, but on my typical morning, this does not take me long. So Liz, if you can just, you know, chime in and kind of help me here, um, uh, that would be, you know, that would be helpful. All right, can everybody see, I don't know if you can give me like a, a thumbs up. Can you see my face big or are you still, I guess it depends on your view from your screen. So maybe it doesn't matter. Let me just record. Yeah, it might be helpful if we recommend on the side there, you can choose active speaker or I think it's called uh, gallery view. Maybe for this part, you might want active speech speaker so you can really see Jamie. Yes, okay. All right, and I'm trying to make myself active here so that, um, the recording, I hope the recording, oop, I hope the recording is showing me. Okay, so let us actually begin. I have a little bit of makeup on right now from today, just a little bit, but I have been out in the sun all day. I've been kayaking with my husband and then we went out to lunch. Um, so I'm going to take off my makeup really quickly and show you if you don't have time to do um, like a huge makeup removal, one of the easiest things, and I have been loving this, I've been using this for about three, four days now, Young Living came out with baby wipes. And the ingredients in these baby wipes are incredible, and I've been using them on my skin as a makeup remover. So in these baby wipes, we have water, but they're soap berries, so look up soap berries. Write down a couple of these ingredients so you can look up what these things do for skin. Lavender, this is not your typical baby wipe. Like, when I heard the launch, I was like, oh, baby wipes, how good they can, can they be? And then I put them on and I was like, okay, these are like a baby wipe. And I've had three kids, I've wiped a lot of butts. These are a baby wipe like I've never experienced before. So lavender, marigold, witch hazel, coriander seed oil, aloe vera, leaf juice, bergamot oil, um, ylang ylang, and geranium. These things are all incredible for the skin and we honestly could do a class just on those plants and what they do for the skin. So what I'm going to show you is I'm just going to take one of the baby wipes. These smell, these are like the best smelling baby wipes I've ever experienced in my life. Um, I'm actually just going to put on my little Young Living headband here to just get my, get my hair back for you there. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I'm not going to take off my eyes. I don't really have a whole lot of eye makeup on, but I am going to start from a fresh face here so that you guys can see. And I'll show you how well, I mean, I get... I don't know if you guys can see that in the light, but it's taking off all my foundation for, that I put on this morning. And I just did a really, really light dusting of foundation because I knew I was gonna be in the sun, but I wanted some light coverage. Um, so the really nice thing I like about these baby wipes for cleansing is that they leave the skin because of the aloe and all the amazing oils. They leave the skin, look at that. They leave the skin just so soft and so supple. Um, now, what, while I'm doing this, while I mean, as Liz was talking about it, you know, skincare matters, it actually reminded me of a day last week when I got back from Young Living Convention with all my products, and I completely forgot to put on my moisturizer underneath the makeup. And all day, my face was feeling like really hard, and like I didn't, even when I was like making, you know, like raising my eyebrows and making certain expressions, I was like, oh, my face is, my face is like hurting. It doesn't feel good. And when I looked in the mirror, I realized, oh my gosh, this does not look good. And what I noticed is every single fine line that I have, and I mean, I'm moving towards 40 years old, so I do have fine lines and I do have some age spots. Every single fine line was literally filled with powder and it looked horrible. And I, I was quickly, I quickly like took it off and then I was like, oh my God, I need to put my moisturizer on underneath. So such a difference um, in, in making sure that you're priming the skin uh, properly. Okay. So right. think about like a raisin, right? A raisin is a dehydrated grape, right? And then think about a hydrated grape, how supple and full it is. And the difference between if you were to put foundation on a grape, you know, the skin of a grape and the skin of a raisin, how much nicer it would look on the grape. Oh, that is such a good um, analogy there. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So I am going to start with the serum. So this is a cleansed face. Um, typically, I would be using the foamer. I would be using, um, I'd probably take off my makeup, then I would do my foamer, then I would do my toner, and then I would put my moisturizer. But underneath um, the makeup, and this is, I just opened this, this is the Renewal Serum. This is made with orchids. 
this was kind of a splurge project product that I purchased a few years ago. And once I tried it, I have not gone a day without it. It is unbelievable. And you don't really need a lot. All right. So I can't believe how far it goes. I just got it recently and one pump is all I need. Yeah, I just it, kinda, far. it really does. And I just did I just did two, but um, it's really dewy and it's really nice. And what it does is it leaves a it makes a really nice barrier of moisture on your face so you're not just putting your makeup on dry skin. So we want that great, right? All right, then I'm gonna do one pump of the light moisturizer. So what this, oops, oops, that just splattered all over my office. <laughs> what this does is this creates a primer. So a lot of makeup lines will try to sell you a primer. This is your primer. I mean, this is it. And what you wanna do is make sure that you are applying your foundation when your skin is still supple and, um, and wet, okay? And a little bit sticky still. So with Young Living, they sell an amazing line of brushes. They're out of stock at the moment. You can seriously, I just picked these up at Whole Foods. They were like $10. You can go on Amazon and get some decent brushes too. You just need a couple of brushes, but you're not gonna wanna be using um, the, um, the little like applicators that you're getting in your eyeshadow from CVS or you know like the drugstore. You definitely want a really really good brush. The other I thing, have the I have the brushes, so I can show them really quick. Oh, perfect. They come in this amazing case. I bought two because I love brushes. Um, they come in this amazing, gorgeous case, and they are so high quality. They are made in Italy. If you guys know anything about makeup, like Italy is the place. Okay. They feel, they just have such a good grip. They're synthetic fibers, so that means they're vegan. If anyone is vegan, they're, you know, vegan friendly, cruelty free, all that. And the awesome part is that they are labeled. They're labeled for what you use them for. So this is our foundation brush. This is our veil brush, which Jamie will talk to you about what veil is. I also use this brush for my bronzer. Um, there is a blush brush and an eyeshadow and a blending brush and they're they are talking about coming out and releasing more brushes as it goes on like an eyeliner brush and, and all of that fun stuff so definitely you want to get the young living brushes if you can and one of the nice things for those of us that are on essential reward they're actually full pv which is very rare for a non-consumable product so for those of you that know what I'm talking about, that's a very exciting thing, which means basically if you spend 85 on your brushes, you get 85 PV. So you get points back, you get rewards points back on that full amount, which is very unheard of. And Melissa Pepping fought very hard and said, nope, if we're doing these brushes, they're going to be full PV. So that was kind of cool. Um, all right, so I'm actually just going to add a little bit more moisturizer to my face because as we were sitting here, like, you know, talking, it dried a little bit. So you, it's really important to have a moist face. Okay, nice dewy face. Um, I do love, love, love the Sheer Lume. Um, I actually use this probably every other day. In fact, I'm gonna put on, I love what it does to the makeup. So I'm actually gonna take a tiny bit of that and I'm just, I'm actually even gonna layer a little bit of that on because I, I really love it. Um, a little trick I learned is anytime you're doing anything under the eyes, make sure you're using your ring finger so you're not pulling on that skin. Okay, the other thing that we were taught is a must is this misting spray, all right? And this is a misting spray that has a whole slew of essential oils in it, okay? Remember, these products are all non-toxic. You're not getting parabens, you're not getting phthalates, you're not getting all of the na nasty potential learning disability and cancer-causing um, chemicals. So this is basically a, a secret formula of essential oils. If you don't have this, the Lavaderm spray would work amazingly well. And if you don't have that, you could just take, do I have an empty spray bottle here? You could just take a glass spray bottle that you get on Amazon and fill it with water and a couple of drops of lavender and geranium or even some frankincense. I mean, all the oils that are really wonderful for the face would work. So we have our, our good, lavender would be better, and the misting spray, absolutely, if you really want a really nice look with the makeup and for it to do its best work, this would be the best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray on a clean brush. I'm going to spray the brush down with the misting spray. You're going to take any excess misting spray off on your hands. So you don't want it soaked. You just want it damp. All right, and we're going to start with the mineral foundation. Now for colors, and I by all means am not an expert on color matching at all, but we do have some really helpful um, 
pamphlets here. Okay, so you're either cool or warm, and there's cool one, two, and three, warm one, two, and three, and then there's a dark palette. There's actually a dark one, two, three, and even a dark four. Um, I happen to be warm, um, and I don't know, Laura, as I'm putting this on, do you wanna, or actually Liz, either one of you, do you wanna explain how people can tell if they're either in the cool family or the warm family? Um, some people in the warm family may even be in the dark, dark one family, but um, let me just show them how they, we do this, and as I'm putting this on, you can go ahead and just explain the difference between cool and warm. So with mineral makeup, guys, and I'm gonna use warm, I'm using because I have some dark circles under my eyes because I was up with my three-year-old till 1.30 in the morning last night. I'm taking warm one, and I am just taking a little bit and putting it in the top, right? And with the damp brush, I'm going to take my brush and I'm swirling it in the top to pick up the minerals. Do you want that wet brush, right? And then I'm going to very gently kind of buff it underneath my eyes. And you can see it's already lightening underneath my eyes. That's the warm one, just a little bit under my eyes. Now I'm Laura just posted a really cool quiz in the comments to help oh, us figure out if you're a Laura, cool or thank warm. you. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. There you go. Click on that quiz and you'll be able to tell if you're cool or warm. Um, and then I'm going to take warm three because that is my foundation color. A little, little bit in the top. That was a little extra. And then I sing these. You can just pour the extra right back into the container. And I'm going to wet my brush again because this is, this is important. Rub the extra off. I really want a nice, even coverage with my foundation. I'm rubbing my brush here in the warm three, pick up the minerals, and then I'm going to buff it on in little circles. And now the really nice thing about using wet application is you don't have little pieces of makeup flying all over the place. If you put this on dry, it just doesn't have the same look. Um, so ladies, talk about the cool and the warm while I'm putting this on. One of the things I would recommend is when you're starting with your foundation, a great place to start is right here on your nose. Most people, they have some redness or they have, they have something that needs coverage in this area. So when you start with your foundation brush right from the product, I would start here for application and buffing in circles like Jamie said, and then work my way out to the outer corners of my face. Oh, there you go. Learn something new, see? You guys, and like I said, I'm just, I'm just a mom that likes to try to cover up, you know, my, my wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so I do know that you do not want to stop here. So Liz, what do we want to do as we're. As yeah. So you're just going to keep doing like Jamie's doing. You're going to buff out in circles and bring it all the way down. I think, um, you know, I think I like to try to do that last and then your product kind of, you know, wears out as you go down. So it kind of creates a nice natural line. You can just buff it nicely. Okay. Awesome. Um, did either of you ladies want to talk about cool warm or do we just want to send people to the quiz? Maybe that would save time. Just sending people I, to the quiz. I can give I a can super quick overview if you want. Okay, great. Super quick overview. Um, um, the easiest way I think is you look at the veins on the inside of your wrist. You want to do it in natural light though. So like right now you want to go to your window and do it. If you are blue, you're cool. If you're green, you're warm. Um, you want to think about the jewelry you wear. If you look better in silver, you're cool. If you look better in gold, you're warm. Um, and then there's some hair eye color. I think if you tend to burn, you'd be cool, yeah. right? Tend to tan, yeah. you're warm. I think mm -hmm. typically like blondes, blue eyes are, are cool most often. Although right. it, it's not hard and fast, you know, there's obviously exceptions. And there's some people I feel like who can wear cool and warm. Seasonally, absolutely. Right. So if you guys, I'm a cool, I don't know if that helps anyone, but I'm cool. And if you can kind of see the difference between warm <laughs> and my skin, like I'm warm. So kind of just goes to show like if you're more fair, you're in that cool category. If you're, if you're more tan and golden, you're in that, or more olive skin would be in that warm category. And I think I'm somewhere in between. I'm, I think I could mix. Yeah, the other thing to know about these guys is this is I think where people get confused and like, I don't know what to order. Figure out whether you're cool or warm. Laura's quiz that she posted is, is key. And then these, these are so forgiving. I saw a woman do a video last week where she did the quote unquote wrong color on this side and she did the right color on this side. You couldn't even tell the difference. And can you even tell the difference that I even have two colors here? Not really, because what you do is you just blend them in and I've never been a big foundation person. I've never slathered found liquid foundation on with one of those, you know, sponges or, um, or buffers because I've just never wanted it to feel like I was wearing anything. 
If I can tell you how amazing this makes your skin feel, it almost makes it feel like you have an instant facelift between the serum and the lotion and then just covering the top with the minerals. The face instantly feels tighter. It instantly feels brighter. If you have specific spots, you could actually go in with the light and just you know spot treat anything that you needed to. But this is what I love about this makeup. It look it makes it look like you're not wearing makeup. So if you're looking for that, you know, um, I don't know. I joke around like I used to get all decked out in my 20s to go like New Year's Eve to the clubs. Like if you're looking for that look, this is not. <laughs> this is not that kind of makeup. This is a non-toxic, everyday, beautiful, natural looking makeup where it looks like you're wearing nothing and people are just gonna say, oh my gosh, her skin is glowing. But if you want a more dramatic look, you can layer it and you can get lines, you can get contours, you can deepen your eyes, you can accentuate your features. So it's just what's so beautiful about this. All right, so I am done with my foundation. That took, you know, no more than- And so, Jamie, what was the trick we learned about um, if we wanted to make like a tinted moisturizer? It's just a little bit of foundation and your moisturizer, right? So if you wanted a little bit more coverage. Yes. Right? If you're used to like a BB cream, which is a tinted moisturizer, thank you for mentioning that, Liz, or, um, or like a liquid foundation, you know what you do? It couldn't be easier. You take your light moisturizer or your Sheer Lume, okay, or whatever moisturizer you're using. You put a couple pumps in your hand. I have a tiny little spoon, and I just take out a little bit of the, um, of the powder, of the color that I'm using, and I mix it in my hand, and there you go. And it, I did it last week. It came out amazing. And a little trick, if you want to add some SPF in, you can add in a little dab of the mineral sunscreen. And now you're not dealing with any um, toxic, harmful chemicals whatsoever. Because what's important to know about all of these products, we're paraben-free, gluten-free, vegan-friendly. There is some beeswax. So if you're somebody that doesn't like to do anything with honey or beeswax, that's why it's gluten-friendly. Um, Phthalate-free, bismuth-free, talc-free, um, cruelty-free. So this is like, Melissa Pepping has really done her research with this. I will tell you, if you start to read the ingredients on your natural makeups, most of them contain either talc or bismuth. And a lot of them contain high levels of heavy metals. So this is one of the, if not the, best mineral makeups on the market. There's a lot of mineral makeups that say they're natural and they're really not. All right? Okay. So now it is evening time. I'm just, you know, I'm putting, ma I'm putting makeup on to watch TV with my husband. This is actually a first. Um, <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit of blush, just a little bit. I was out in the sun today, so I don't need a ton. But this would be my, you know, going to the park with the kids look. This would be my just going to the grocery store. I'm just kind of wanting to put on a little light coverage. So it just accentuates the features of my face in just a couple of minutes, right? So I'm using um, Crowned All Over. This is one of the blushes. The, um, oh, actually, I'm sorry. This isn't one of the blushes. This is the bronzer. I'm actually skipping the blush altogether. The blush colors, I'll just let you know, are Smashing, I Do Believe You're Blushing, and Passionate. These are the blush colors right here. I'm just going right over here to the bronzer, and I'm using the lighter of the two, crowned all over. All right? And all I'm going to do, again, this has some beautiful mica in it, so it has a nice sparkle. I'm just going to tap a little bit, tap, tap, tap into my cover. Get in the hang of this. Wet the brush. Excess off on your hand, or you could even tap it. I'm going to pick up my minerals, and now I want these in a specific place. So I'm going to make sure I tap the extra off, because if you don't, when you go to apply it, it's going to float up and it's gonna float down. So it's really important to make sure after you pick up your minerals to tap, 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 all right? And I like to do a kissy face like this and pretend I'm a Kardashian just for a couple of seconds. And I start here, and I just go up. Okay, right here and right here. Okay, so this is where you're gonna put, this is the bronzer. It's gonna add, a, I'm just doing a light contour today. I'm also going to put a little bit right around my hairline and a little bit on my jawline. All right, this is like barely noticeable, but it is there and in the sunlight you can definitely see it. Okay, Liz, was that application okay for contouring the G? Yes, yes, I am. Um... I was just thinking when I first started, I was tapping brushes off to the side or, you know, on the, whatever. And people are like, what are you doing? You need to tap that back right into the cap like Jamie did. Because that's product. It goes right back in your cap. You're not losing any extra product. Yeah. Okay. All right. Awesome. 
Now this is one of my favorite products, my favorite makeup products. This is the Veil and this is called Diamond Dust. Now I, I've learned the hard way, you can over diamond dust, you really can. <laughs> you can. I had some on the other day and my friend was like, your nose looks neon. So okay, you don't wanna over diamond dust. But what you do wanna do is the same thing, you wanna take a little bit of the diamond dust, it's our mineral veil, it is so pretty. Oops, and it, it just it comes out a little fast. You just gotta kind of do it a little bit. Um, put a little. I bit saw a really cool tip on a page. They said that you you can um, when you buy the the mineral makeup, it comes with like a sticker almost on top of the shaker, and you can slice the sticker like with an exacto knife, so it controls how much comes out. You know what? More. I was wondering that because I took mine off, and I'm regretting taking mine off. So like, I wish I could go back and put them back on because. That is, I was wondering if I shouldn't have taken them off. Okay, thank you, Liz. I wish. I recommended cutting in half. That's genius. What a good idea. I recommend that because otherwise you have a lot of makeup kind of sitting on top of the container and you just have to be careful. But I typically will just work on top of a towel and I've been very careful not to waste any. Um, so anyway, I have a little bit of the veil right there. I don't know if you can see that. So it's a little bit whitewashed there from the life. Here we go again with the misting spray. It's gonna help activate, okay? I'm just going in, picking up the mineral veil. Now this is going to be the highlighter, all right? Some people will put it all over their face. I'm just going to put it right up here where this, the light would hit. So a little bit here, a little bit here, okay? I'm also going to put just a little bit above my brows, just here and here. And then I don't like to do a lot on the nose because then it looks like you have a neon nose, but just down the tip of the nose. And if you don't have a thinner brush, you can actually squeeze your bristles together. That's actually what I do. And I just go like right down the tip of the nose. Now a trick that I saw a makeup stylist do is she takes, because if you want that pouty lip look, you can take a little bit of the mineral veil and just put it right here. What is this called, Liz, this part of the body? Do you know? Uh, Cupid's bow? Oh, okay, is that what it's called? So do you see what that just did? Like by putting that right there, do you see how that just, how that like a no lip gloss on and look at what it did, it already like, hold up the points of my lip just simply by putting a little bit right there and I would just blend it so it doesn't look so weird anywhere else I should put the highlighter Liz I can go highlight crazy I think sometimes. uh no I mean and me too nope exactly where you just I think a little on the chin that, right yep yep right where your uh, sound would hit Amy's asking about all different brushes so I think it was a different brush for foundation and then a different brush for mineral veil that right okay. for diamond dust. And because I didn't get my brushes yet, I'm literally just using these ones I got from Whole Foods and I'm just there's like one big brush that comes in here. So Okay. But, but Laura recommended, right? It's a foundation and then uh the diamond dust. Um Laura, is there a different brush for each of those with the kit, with the brush kit, Laura? There's foundation, blush, and Veil and use the veil brush for my bronzer. Okay, perfect. And I just want to for your nose, just like you just use your finger for this part, Jamie. Yeah. You can you you can use your finger for your nose. Yeah. I have a cousin who's a cosmetologist, and she does that for it has to do with yeah. contouring. So just awesome. drag it straight down. Awesome. A lot of times with all my highlight, I'll just use a finger because I feel like that's the best, and it's because I can go happy with the brush. I feel like the finger makes me kind of take it slower. Yeah, that makes sense. So I've been cleaning my brushes with the baby wipes as well. So awesome. You can actually get like brush cleaning spray, but so I've been taking like save, you know, save that or grab another one. And there you go. Now my brush is nice and clean and ready for tomorrow morning. Um, okay, so now- So I did want to talk about brush cleaning. I know we're kind of, but I did want to talk about that really quick. Yes, use the wipes in between day to day, but you know, like once a week, you do want to clean really well. You can use like a Young Living, the um, Kid Scent shampoo and just, you know, swirl them in your hand here. Water, shampoo, swirl them. And then when you dry them, really important, when you invest in night or, or thieves uh, household clean, when you invest in nice brushes, please make sure that you're drying them, lay them flat dry. You don't want to sit them upward. The water is going to drip down into the glue and your bristles are going to start to loosen and fall out. So you want to make sure you just lay them and lay them flat or, da or down. Lay them flat. Okay, great. That is great advice. See, I, these are the little tips. This is why we have somebody that's trained with Chanel and Bobby Brown on here with us tonight. And you can um, also mix a capful, like literally a capful of Thieves Cleaner with water. So it'll be super diluted. 
and you can just spray your brushes and wipe them on a hand towel if you don't have the wipes, which I prefer, I would prefer this over the wipes just because there are oils in the wipes and I wouldn't really want anything left over on my brushes when I'm trying to apply my makeup. That makes perfect sense. There's so many. And if you went on Pinterest and looked up a different recipe, you know, you could find that. But so there's a, uh, there's a lot of options with Young Living between the brushes. Okay, fantastic. All right. Um, thank you, ladies. Those are great little tips and tricks that we wouldn't know. All right. So now let's go on to eyes really quickly. Um, when I got my makeup, and I'm not going to go through all of the eye colors tonight. This is not a color matching class. This is just basically, you know, hydration, skincare, quick makeup application. Um, I just picked three colors because I was taught to do kind of a base color, a lid color. Um, you can also use the highlighter color. And then you just, if you wanted to create depth, you want to put something here in the crease. So I picked three colors. I did um, Wanderlust, which is, um, actually, hold on. Yeah, what did I do? I did Wanderlust, I did a uh, Residual, and I did a purpley kind of smoky matte color with no sparkle at all called Diffused, right? And I don't know if you can... You probably won't be able to see the color so well here, but let me hold this up. Okay, so there are the eyeshadow colors. They're on the bottom. All right, and um, best kept secret is their matte nude. I don't have it at the moment, but I when I got my makeover at um, Young Living Convention, she put best kept secret down first almost as a primer, although I've been using... Um, I mean, I've been kind of doing the same thing she did, just with a different color. I have been using um, Wanderlust as that, because I like a little sparkle on my eye. So, all right, same exact thing goes for, here's my little brush, same exact thing goes for the eyeshadow. So you're going to tap a little bit in, and especially with eyeshadow, you want to make sure that your brush is um, sprayed, because you do not want these colors flying all over your face, especially when you go in with that deeper color, like that deeper purple. So... Pick up your minerals. I'm going, this is going to be so quick, all right? I'm just going to go over my entire eye. You can see it's kind of like a white, a white sparkly. I really like this color. And I'm going right under the lid. I mean, I'm sorry, right under the brow. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. This brush is still wet, so I feel like it's fine picking up more. <laughs> Hi, doggy. Sorry. That's all right. The neighbor just pulled out. That's all right. Okay, so I mean, I honestly could probably stop there, put some mascara on, and like, there you go. The lighter color just lifts everything. But just to show you a three-step eye, and it really doesn't take that long, I'm then going to go in with the more sparkly color, and this is, um, what did I say this was? This was, um, oh, this was residual. This is called residual. This is a little bit darker. Let me just spray my brushing. What's right. that first color you just put on, Jamie? That was Wanderlust. Or Wonderlust. You know what's so nice? I'm looking at that, and if someone couldn't swing the diamond dust, I almost feel like they could use that as the highlighter. You probably could. And you actually could put diamond dust. Pretty... In. You could even do diamond oh, dust yeah. in your eyes. Absolutely. You don't even need Absolutely. to necessarily yeah. buy the eyeshadow, right? Um, yeah, okay. But so it this... is nice how they all can do different things. Yeah, I agree. So this is um, this is residual. It's a little beigey. I'm just gonna put this on the lid. I want my lids a tiny bit darker with that lighter color there on the top. And this is just, this is just kind of what I've been doing the last uh, couple weeks. Oops, I dropped my card. I hope I don't need it again. And then to just kind of give that hooded eye look, do you see where my natural, I already have it. I'm not even wearing a darker color, but you can already see that shadow there. So then I'm going to take that darker purple. They do have like a darker brown. This purple, because it's so sheer, minerals are so sheer, um, it almost comes across as a little brown. It doesn't look like I'm wearing purple eyeshadow. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here, kind of towards the outer edge, and just highlight that area right So what there. I like to think about there when I'm doing the crease is more like, it's kind of like a, oh. It's like a sideways V. So the crease and then where you would maybe do eyeliner. I like exactly like that. And I feel like it blends my eyeliner line nicely too. Awesome. All right. So that's it. I mean, and you can look at how pretty that is. Now, if you wanted to really lift up your eye, you could even go in with a lighter color and put it right here. But I honestly don't even feel like this needs this. Because remember, this is just a quick, like, get your makeup on out of the house. All right. So then I'm not going to do it now, but I would then do eyeliner. 
and I would do mascara. We can do we can do that another day. Um, I have been using these magnetic lashes, which are amazing. I really didn't want to get lash lash extensions, but I did get these magnetic lashes. They clip on, they clip off. I don't even need to worry about mascara anymore, so I'm really excited about that. But lip is really important. I'm gonna put my glasses back on so I can actually see because. I'm kind of blind without them. <laughs> All right, let's talk about, let me just take this off my hair here. Let's talk about lip. So Young Living has um, lipstick and lip gloss. And I have two colors of each here with you tonight. Actually, I'm gonna have to, I wanna grab this so I can read you the colors. Hold on one second, guys. Is it fell? Um, the four lipstick colors are, Right here, we're gonna start this way over. We have On a Whim, Daydream, Wish, and Uptown Girl. The Uptown Girl is kind of pink. On a Whim is kind of brownie taupe. It's really pretty. I'm actually going to do um, On a Whim because I really, really like it. Um, Uptown Girl is a little bit darker and pinker. So watch. It goes on so smooth. It's sheer, but it, I love, look at that, look at that shine. I I love this color. Now, if that's too white for you, um, like too white, minerally, you know, mica looking, you could definitely tone it down and go into like either Wish or Uptown Girl, which would be more of a, let me actually show you on my hand, more of like a, a pink. So that's Uptown Girl. And this was on a whim. I really, really am loving on a whim. You can see the, I don't know if you can see the difference, the different colors right there. Subtle, but the Anna Wim is more brown, taupey, and the um, Uptown Girl is more pink. And then what I've been doing is topping my lipstick. I'm not even a lipstick girl um, until I got these lipsticks. I don't know how they feel, but I've been topping my lipstick with lip gloss. So there are two lip gloss colors right now. If you were going to get anything from this makeup line, if you were only going to get one thing, I would say the this is it. Because even just leaving the house for the grocery store and just throwing on a little lip gloss can like change your whole appearance. So right now we have two colors. We have Abundant, which I will show you what that looks like on my hand. It's a pinkier, really, really sheer, but very pretty. And the thing about the lip gloss, guys, is it has um, oils in it. It has peppermint in it. Um, and this is my favorite. This is Embrace. This is what I've been wearing. I'll do it right next to it. A lot sheerer. Do you see that? It practically doesn't have any color. So I've been using Embrace over my lipstick, and that's it. Oh my gosh, immediately you can feel the peppermint. It wakes you up, it plumps your lips. Um, that's it. And look at how well the wipes take the makeup off. Check that out. John. <laughs> Um, so that's it, you guys. Foundation, a little bit of bronzer, the diamond dust veil, eyeshadow, lip gloss, good to go. Um, oh, Colleen, you're loving the lip glosses. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed with Embrace, and I've been putting it on my daughter. My five-year-old daughter likes it, and I don't have to worry about it having parabens and phthalates and all that horrible, gross junk in it. You know, confidence without compromise. That is the big thing we're talking about tonight. Um, so does anyone have any questions? This was fun. All right, I'm actually going to stop the recording for a moment because um, we do have some specials happening right now and I'm going to stop the recording so that this is a shareable tool that anyone can share and watch and then stick around because I'm going to tell you what we have going on right now.